Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. And one of the plants, or a grouping of plants, that have become very popular in recent years are succulents. These are plants that tolerate the dry and harsh conditions of the home. We have many that we grow here at Logis. There's a few that are really my favorites, and they come from very different places around the world, but they all have that same ability to grow under very harsh conditions. The first one is Deuteraconia brevifolia, which is also called the Argentine ball. And although this is a dryland plant and not really a succulent, it's actually a bromeliard, it actually produces a very large round ball as it matures, but it's very tolerant to very dry conditions. And so in the greenhouses here, we don't water it very often. It might get watered um, three or four times a year, maybe a little bit more during the summertime when it's in active growth, and particularly dry during the wintertime. It's Creation is this round globe, and although its flowers are kind of insignificant, it does make a beautiful specimen, and it also has a very spiny top to it, so when you're handling it, you have to be somewhat cautious. But it really is a great plant for dry conditions. The next one we have is Euphorbia obesa, which is the baseball cactus. This is an African native. It produces this round globe, somewhat slow growing, but again, very tolerant to dry conditions. You would grow this more like you would the spiny cactus where you know you let it really dry out and then give it a thorough watering and go for a long time without water. It really prefers a very bright sunny spot to grow well. And lastly we have our Trachodiadema densum which is the miniature desert rose. Now this plant actually again tolerates very dry conditions but it also forms an underground caudex that when you're growing this as a container plant, you can make it into a really kind of a bonsai form. And they're very, very tolerant again of dry conditions. This one here, which our grower actually has kind of saved and put aside, um, is over two years old. And as they potted it, they've dropped it down so the caudex can be revealed. And you can see these little purple flowers that come. Um, generally, we see them at this time of year, which is late winter going into spring. And as plants get older, they can actually make a huge display of purple flowers over the tops of these funny little um, tufts. They look spiny, but they're not. It really makes a great container plant for that dry, sunny window. For most of these, we don't really consider fertilization very important. You want to give that once or twice a year and during their active growing periods. But as most succulents, they really prefer sort of a lean diet. As I mentioned, your watering has to be done irregularly and on the dry side, and then sunny conditions uh, for them to grow in. So you need a south window, southeast or southwest window to culture these properly. The only one that has any trouble with insects is the trichodiademer, which actually can get mealybug that can get down inside of these rosettes. And it can be a long time before you can clean it up through spraying. But if the plant is not infected or doesn't have infected plants nearby, it's really kind of a non-issue. These are some of our favorite succulents at Logis that are great for those conditions where you're not going to water them very much and there's a lot of sunlight and you can give them some neglect. If you'd like more information, visit us at logis.com.